Петушка. Hey everybody, welcome to Everyday Peter. Oscar is here, chilling with us. Uh, today, gratitude vlog day number um, so, uh, is going out to uh, Skinner Box. Um, this was a concept I learned today uh, from watching an episode of Game Grumps. Uh, it's actually the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door finale, which is my favorite game of all time. I've been really excited watching them play and stuff. Yeah, it's not a perfect playthrough, but it is still super fun, and they have come around to certain things, and I think they would have liked it a lot better if people were constantly crapping on them and telling them why, hey, you guys aren't good at this. So at some point, uh, Danny is hitting a constantly trying to go through a cutscene, much like you could do in a lot of games, not in this cutscene in particular. Aaron brings up the idea of a Skinner box. A Skinner box, it's kind of one of those conditioning boxes that they would do a lot of experiments on. There's one type of box, which is not a Skinner box, I don't know the name of it, uh, but essentially, you know, you put rat in box, hit the button, uh, food comes out. Uh, every time you hit the button, food will always come out. Rat only satisfies his needs, doesn't care. A Skinner box is more akin to, let's say, a slot machine, gambling, loot boxes, any sort of like random drop. Uh, a lot of video games have this put into them. A lot of uh, gambling games have this put into them, where essentially pulling a lever, hitting a button, sometimes it gives food, sometimes it doesn't. In fact, most of the time, it does not. It's just absolutely random. But what happens is that rat in a box, unlike its little cousin counterpart, kind of chilling, hitting the button, ah, oh, you know, I need breakfast time, I'm gonna hit the button, I'm gonna eat breakfast, uh, okay, I'm good. This rat is going completely buck wild, hitting the button over and over and over and over and over again, because it, there is no guarantee it's gonna get any food. And I think they do mention this at the video, though I did think of it like maybe 10 nanoseconds before they actually said it. Uh, but that's like, I, I realized that explains why I constantly check my email, why I constantly check my Facebook uh, like notifications. Um, I've been doing it a lot recently with YouTube where about 18 times a day I check to see if I got any new subscribers as well as any new views and it feels great when one of those things do happen. It's also like that is where I've centered my happiness on. Um, and it doesn't make me feel good when there aren't, isn't any change. While why I'm grateful for this idea is that it's never, I've honestly never heard of this before. Maybe I did in like a psych class I took in high school, but I never really attributed it to my own life. And while I will definitely continue doing these things, I will probably like, it's probably curbed to maybe 20, 25% of the amount of times I'm checking. It sort of explained this habit. So really thank you to Game Grumps for putting a label on this habit that I've always had. And it's something that I can now work on um, or at least think about so that when I, I'm like bleh or like when I am going to check so I can, I can sort of put my phone down, be like, I only want to check it because I'm hoping for this thing. Don't worry about it. Guys, hit the subscribe. After just talking about how I want views and subscriptions it, it would really help really help uh, scratch that itch if you yourself hit one of these magical subscribe buttons there's one below in the page there's like three in this video so please hit subscribe putting out constant little daily vlogs like this things I'm learning well there are things I'm grateful for but they could be anything from uh, these delicious barbecue cruncher chips that I love any kettle cook potato chip always gonna be on home rum with this fella as well as the things that I'm learning about movies I've been enjoying which I haven't done in the first this is the first month of the vlog being done what do you know this is actually video number 31 I haven't done one every single day but there's been a lot of, there's been a lot of days with two videos but cool I got a video a day is going eventually so that's pretty exciting go ahead Comment, uh, you know what? Comment below this thing that I've been talking about. Have you been feeling it? 
constant checking? Have you found ways to curb this besides just sort of monitoring yourself and saying, no, put the phone down, put the phone, it's family time. I'm sorry. Anyways, yeah, comment below, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow.